All right, so I'm uh, back. So this part, I'm gonna just show you a little bit different way. Um, Sort up QSA connector, just do this a little bit safe. I would have already gone ahead and did is pre-strip this um, heat shrink, as you can tell. And one thing I want to mention is uh, when it comes to wiring and soldering, um, just be kind of careful when you're doing LiPo batteries. You want to go and take some dikes and cut this positive and this negative at the same time. Because what's going to happen is you're going to now create a short. The short's going to go from this positive side to this negative side through this metal tool. Um, and it's going to be conductive. And then what you're going to run into is you're going to have an explosion or a meltdown, something of your light bulb. So just be safe when you're doing this. Uh, think safety first. And it's okay. Do it one by one. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get this wire unsoldered. And what I'm using here is a helping hand. So what you want to do is also take a male and a female. What's going to go on your battery side is going to be a female connector. And you're going to be using a male connector. Put that inside. And what I like to do usually if I'm soldering this is just kind of lightly press that in. So I know that that is going to be the male side and this is going to be the female side when I'm soldering. So you're going to use both of these connectors um, to kind of help out and keep those gauges or those wires uh, in the correct position. So what happened is this is a large gauge bullet and when you're wiring goes to heat up and your solder heats up at the same time what also has to heat up is this bullet so that bullet will start moving around because it's plastic so you want to use both of these together so you can keep those aligned so just keep that in mind when you go to solder these so now what i'm going to do is get this connector desoldered and what i like to do is kind of heat that up put some solder on and there you go wire pipe popped right off so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna locate our positive side on our connector and in this case it's gonna be this one so what I'm gonna do is now get that wire or that solder inside Closer. And then now I'm gonna get rid of this wire from there. Use our helper hand. And you want to be careful that this is not touching anything that's going to be able to arc. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do really quickly is get that wire a little bit stripped a little bit more. So this wire is a little bit smaller than you should be using with a QSA connector. It's just the battery I'm using. That's the size wire it has, and it's a hard case. So it makes it even harder. So this wire is pretty much going to go right there. Since this wire already has some uh, solder on it and we already gone ahead and tinned our connector, we're just going to remelt the solder that we have pretty much in there. Should get that.
and like I've said in other videos is I'm using a electrical solder which is a super um, good solder it's a 60 40 so it is a lead free as well but at the same time you don't want to be breathing this in um, reason why I'm saying that is because it does get really toxic um, and the one thing I just showed you right now is what happens um, when you go to solder this wire one thing I'm gonna do now is show you how to desolder this wire and I'll show you why we're gonna desolder this wire in a second so let's get that wire heated up and one thing you want to do is put a connector wire cover on here then we'll go to soldering this connector back in here And be very careful because this wire is going to be pretty hot. So you don't want to go and burn yourself. Alright, so we got that one done. So next what we're going to do is get our positive side out the way. And get our negative side strip. And we're not slicing this uh, heat shrink. We're just scoring it. It's almost like uh, when you go to paint out a body or something. You want to get that pretty much scored. So then that way you can take that um, liquid mask off if you're using it. Oops. And that's what happens. So. That's just a little quick way of showing you about grounding uh, and negative. So let's get this back on the correct side we need it on. That's just a little cheat that I do. Um, add solder to solder to desolder. Uh, doesn't make sense if you think of it, but it does work. So next we're gonna get this wire in here. And one thing I do just to be safe is get that out the way. Um, let's go ahead and add our solder to here. Let's see if I get a really close view.
And what I'm going to do on this one is get this wire stripped as well. And to be honest with you, a lot of the times, like, um, I'm not making these videos just to think everyone doesn't know what they're doing. I know a lot of you guys know what you're doing. If you're watching and you know what you're doing, um, salute you. But at the same time, you got to remember, some people, they just don't got resources or access to learn all of this. So they need that little bit of help that we can. So just keep that in mind is you're into this hobby there's a lot of competition so you learn that at the end of the day we're all doing the same thing just having fun a little bit too much solder It's just a little hack I do. As I get that razor blade heated up. So we got that part pretty much wired up. Um, next part is let it cool down. And the main thing on this one is just I want to show you uh, safety. Um, I'm using a flux core solder. So you can see right here at this base of this wire, it's pretty hard because what happens is uh, the rosin pretty much sucks its way into the solder or into the wires, which pulls in the solder. And that's pretty good solder right there and that one is too. Uh, one thing is these wires you just gotta kind of press them in. A little bit of a pain honestly so what I like to do is just kind of work this housing. And as we learn um, be careful on touching that you don't want that screwdriver the arc because that one's going to really be a big shock or explosion what I did with this one is since it's stainless steel is gave it a little bit of a touch which I know it's not going to be as conductive but it's still conductive to show you guys what happens so what I'm trying to do is just get this pulled up a little bit and that one pulled up a little bit and I love QSA connectors the only pain is this portion this part is just all right so that one is going in but then we're stopped because this side so Let's see if you can see it. Alright, got that one in and got that one in. So, let's 
go ahead and hold that. And everything is still good. We still got our red resistor um, inside there. That's on our positive side and our ground side is still good. So that's just one way to show you what happens when you go to solder these connectors and you use a male and a female in place. So that way you have a good solder and you have a good connection. So now these are pretty much ready to hit the road. I'm gonna charge these overnight and show you what happens tomorrow.